Hello, I'm Kathleen O'Connell. Welcome to Determinants of Health Behavior. That's HBSS 5110. I really love this course for a variety of reasons. We've discussed really interesting theories, really old ones and new ones, and we apply them to real life situations. The purpose of this video is to sort of show you around the real estate of Canvas. So, first of all, you've already been to the home page, which has been, which introduces the course. And uh, from there, you should have gone to the Getting Started with Canvas page and listen to that uh, recording. And now you're going to, now you've gotten to this page already where you're listening to this recording, which I'm about to put right here. So let me just explain how I have the course organized. So you're always going to refer to this column in the left hand where the most important tabs, if you will, of the course are. So the first tab under Home is Syllabus. Now you've already been given an opportunity to download the syllabus in the Getting Started uh, uh, the getting started pages, but this is a place where the syllabus is actually uploaded. And there are two things to note about this if you're interested. Uh, one is that you can, that, that a link to the grading rubrics for the three major assignments are here. If you do a search on rubric, you can go down and find those rubrics. I'm doing a search here. And uh, if you, those rubrics are right here within this document. So you can go down and download, you can go in here and download those rubrics. All right. Also, at the end, the very end of this syllabus is something that is, that is constructed by Canvas, and it is a course summary, which lists all the assignments of the course and when they're due. The syllabus also gives you important information about the details of the course, the details of the assignments, and so forth. The schedule, which as I mentioned is a different, in a different um, file, gives you an overview of the course for each week. And um, as it says in the syllabus, you're allowed to skip three discussion boards, as long as they're not willpower discussion boards, uh, in the entire semester. So you can go through and figure out which ones you'd like to skip. Please don't skip the ones, all, all of the ones toward the end, so spread your skips out if you can. But you can choose those whichever you like, whichever way you like. Okay. So then we have the next, so that's, that's the, the uh, idea in the syllabus and the things you will find out about in the syllabus. The next tab is the modules tab. Uh, I've got to get out of this here. So we'll, all right, so next tab is modules tab. And you'll see that the modules are uh, arrayed down the side in here and all the modules that you'll see will be in here um, every week. I actually allow the modules to open about two weeks before they're due so they're, they're, they're open sort of ahead of time uh, so you can get a jump on them if you'd like. Um, all right, so, so at if you are doing something in a module and you, for instance, you go to this uh, and this is a link to download a, um, a lecture. This is just the PowerPoint slides for the lecture. There's no voiceover or anything. You're just supposed to read the lecture. They're more annotated. They're more, um, there's more words on them than would be in a usual lecture because they're supposed to be self-explanatory. So you would download load this into a separate, into your computer 
But then if you're lost down here in one of these things, just go up, just keep on going back up to modules to see what you have to do next. Each module has an overview um, page that tells you what you're doing that week. And each page has the objectives. It has what you're doing in terms of readings, what you're doing in terms of discussion board. And if there were an assignment in this module, you would have a C here for assignments due for the week, so you know those. Okay, so then after modules, although you can get to the discussion boards from a module, you can tell it's a discussion board because it's got this two little bubbles here, kind of he said, she said bubbles. Uh, those are the, the little icons for discussion board. But it all, you can also get to discussions from this uh, link right here. Um, then the other, the next thing you're going to be interested in is grades. Every week after the discussion board closes, uh, I try to grade the discussion boards. Um, and sometimes I don't, I'm not able to do it until the weekends. But this is where you'll find the grades for the discussion boards and for the other assignments. So that's where grades are. And then uh, if you want to know the people involved in the course, uh, there's a list of people here. Uh, and you can figure out who's in the course. And eventually you can contact um, those people. There's also a list of assignments. They're sort of everywhere, but um, here's the assignments. And if you click on these, this is where you can upload an assignment. Um, but you can also do that again from the modules, from the modules. And then if there were an assignment here, you could click on it and upload it from there. So, uh, and finally, on this, this uh, page, there's e-reserves. This is where you can go to the e-reserves. And um, for this course, this takes you to the library. Uh, you have to sign in again. And then uh, it takes you, then you have to click on this course, HBSS 5110, and go from there to, um, to download the articles that you need for this week. So that's about it for this um, introduction. If you have any questions, you need to ask me the questions in the question area. I have a very great emphasis on questions in this class. I think that they're the best way to learn. And, um, and I offer you the chance to ask, and que ask questions in every module, questions about the assignments, the syllabus, and so forth. Uh, there's a link in every module for that. And then there's a, also a link in every module for uh, uh, questions about the readings. I think it's so important to ask these questions that I insist that you ask questions about the readings or the course in the first module to sort of kind of get you going. Otherwise, questions are optional. All right, very good. I look forward to meeting you and getting to know you in this course and having a good time. Thanks.